Hey chickadees, what's up everybody? Hope you had a very amazing weekend. My name is Caesar G coming in from Cincinnati Tech and today we're going to talk about a new device launch coming from Metro by T-Mobile and this is going to be a new mobile phone so stay tuned as we roll the intro. So to begin with, Motorola has unleashed two new smartphones and earlier this past couple of days we've seen that Motorola has unleashed the Moto G7 Play which has been kind of like an up and down amongst fans and this was the replacement for the Moto E5 Play, excuse me, the Moto E5 Play that was recently been at Metro by T-Mobile not too long ago. And then we also had the G7 Power, which became one of the most popular smartphones for fans who really loves the Moto family. And it's been looking for a battery that can last much longer than their counterpart Moto G7 and the Moto E5 Plus. Now you're still wondering what specifications does the Moto G7 Play has for everyone at Metro by T-Mobile. I have the video and information about that phone and I'm going to post the link in the description down below and also onto the side so that you'll know what the G7 Play has in stock and what kind of features does it have. And to put the rumors aside to rest, it is going to be a new evolution of the Motorola E-Series. And this is going to be in the middle between the E5 Plus and the G7 Power. And we are definitely going to see what Motorola has in stock for the latest phone, which is the Moto E6. It wasn't too long ago that Motorola has brought news to all the corporate and dealer locations surrounding about that new device. And when I look into the packaging of Motorola, it gives us more features and more specs of what the phone has to offer. And what's so interesting is that this phone is going to be launching next week and it should came maybe a day or two ago before the G7 Play. I don't know how it goes, but other than that, we're just going to go a look into the phone and see what kind of specs it has, or if it's better or worse than the old Moto E5 Plus. I'm going to put the information aside here and then graphic over there so that you'll follow along. And all this information is thanks to GSM Arena and also Motorola so that I could read all the specifications bit by bit and then give you the pricing information what you expect to pay. And even though I didn't bring my rain glasses, I'm definitely going to read this a lot clearer right here because I can definitely see it's close to me. I'm sorry, I can't even, even see a little bit better, but as you can see, my eyes are a little squinty and let's just go ahead and read the information right away. And so for the Moto or the Moto 6 generation of the Moto E series, I still want to call it Evolution 6, by the way. <laughs> it's going to have a 5.45 inch display and is high definition plus. So it's a 5.45 inch display close to 5.5 inch and it is high definition plus and the resolution will have a 18 by 9 aspect ratio. And the camera itself, the main focus of the camera, it's going to have a 13 megapixel fast focused camera with an LED flash embedded and the front facing camera it's going to have 5 megapixel with a selfie flash included. And then the processor, however, is going to be a Qualcomm Snapdragon 4 certified processor with a 4.4 gigahertz octa-core processing speed. Memory itself, it's going to have 16 gigabits internally and 2 gigabits of RAM for expendable memory. And also for expendable storage, you can actually add up to 256 gigabytes. So that's already a quarter of a terabyte of storage you can put plenty of space for your photos music and games onto this phone the phone does not feature a fingerprint sensor so that's said here and then it does have a 13 megapixel 4 2.0 aperture led flash and it does not feature rapid charging it does have nano cooling technology and then the color we'll be able to see is maybe kind of like a navy bluish color that's the phone i see when i looked into it and then also it does run android 9 pi so that's the latest operating system the most disappointing part is of course the internal storage 
generally because we did say that two gigabits of RAM in 2019 is a big no-no, so that's gonna be very sad. And then 16 gigabits of memories, it may be a little bit better than the former Moto E5 Play, maybe worse, but you can give or take as we look into the pricing at the end of this video and then give you a comparison of the Moto G family and the E family as well. So as we look into the pricing into this phone, it's gonna be a lot better to say than gain more than 19 or 20 bucks when you start a new line on a G7 Play. For the latest promotion that's coming out, this phone is gonna be launching on Monday, August 26th. Probably gonna be less than two weeks or a week ago from now after I submit this video on YouTube. And starting Monday, the 26th of August, if you're looking to get the Moto E6 today, as a full retail price right now, it starts at $149.99. Just for the phone itself, you just wanna buy the phone. However, they do have some special offers that if you either going to port in your number for another carrier or if you decide to add a line or start a new line service from scratch at Metro with an unlimited plan, you get this phone for free. So that's amazing to say that Moto now has a free phone. The E6 is free instead of paying G7 $19.99. A lot better than what we see from Metro by T-Mobile itself. And the upgrade price is not bad at all too because if you're looking to upgrade your old Moto E5 or E4 phone and you want to get a better phone such as the Moto E6 for example, the upgrade price right now starts at $59.99 but also keep in mind that where if you're upgrading or if you start a new line of service, they do charge $15 as an activation fee or even upgrade fee depending on whether you're going to change your phone or also add new line of service. And so I'm going to post a video later about the service fees and everything else and I'll explain to you more. I'll explain to you more about um, those kinds of fees and changes later in an upcoming future video. So stay tuned on that. What's surprising is that Metro by T-Mobile is not the only company that's launching the Moto E6. We are also going to see it on Verizon Wireless for the first time ever. And when you look into the website, Verizon now also has a special offer for current and new customers. And it says right there, as I look into the link right there, is that you can get the Moto E6 and then the color that they have for that phone starts as Stary Black. I mean, it could be navy blue. We're not sure once we will see that phone as we see the launch coming in. And then to get the Moto E6 on Verizon Wireless, they do require to add an unlimited plan. And you can get this phone for free when you start a new line of service with Verizon. I'm not sure how activation prices and changes vary. So you may have to inquire at a Verizon Wireless store for more information. And it's pretty much the same specs as what you see in the, the Motorola Metro version and also the Verizon version. However, if you're going to get the Moto E6 as a prepaid version on Verizon Wireless, um, it will cost you the same retail price at $149.99, but they also will give you option to lease the phone or give you some kind of special deals if you're looking to do a leasing option so that you just check your credit history or your banking information so that you'll be able to get this phone. And plus, if you order that phone online, they'll give you $20 off your activation fee of $40. So that's kind of expensive that seeing that the activation fee at Verizon is 40 bucks versus $15 at Metro by T-Mobile. So that's kind of a big ouch when it comes to your money. However, Verizon Wireless is now offering YouTube TV for current new customers right there. And so if you start a new line of service with Verizon Wireless, and they'll give you a one month trial of YouTube TV on them. So similar to like Apple Music, you sign up when you get Verizon Wireless, you get YouTube TV on them for free for at least one month when you're going to activate your new line of service with Verizon Wireless. If you're either purchasing your phone or also bring your own device and start a new line of service that way. And I'll have more information in the link's description down below of Verizon and Metro's version of the Moto E6 as soon as it comes out. And before I end this video, let's talk about the slows compare and contrast on these phones since I have the Motorola packaging right here and let's just go ahead and put the screen right there so we can give you of what it means to see what are differences between all the Motorola phones of the Moto family in comparison. And so as you can see here that the Moto E6, yep, the difference is not just it becomes the screen but also the display size right there we also see that the battery life is a lot different so 
We can totally say that the Moto E6 may be 20% um, times better than the Moto E5 Play. However, it is kind of a disappointing that we see two gigabits of memory nowadays. I mean, since it's 2019, we're hoping to see three gigabits or more on that. So that's just very horrific right there. And then surprise, surprise that the Moto E6 is almost similar to the Moto E5 Plus. It's just that it's 0.15 inches smaller than the E5 Plus. It still have the same specs as what the Moto E5 Plus has when it comes to the processor. And it's a lot much different now that it does have Android 9.0 instead of 8.0. So we're going to see Android Pie on the E6. Not bad job right there. And then the camera specs is different. And surprise that the E6 is the one of the phones that do not have turbo power charging included. So that's the wall adapter along with the cable itself so that you'll be able to rapidly charge your phone overnight in case your battery dies. And then when you look at the G7 Play, for example, yep, you see the specs right there and it tells you the features that it has. So at least the G7 Play has 32 gigabits of memory versus 16 gigabits of memory on the E6. And just to tell you the truth right there, it may be a lot worse. It's almost kind of like a level entry phone, just to keep that in mind. And also, if you're still a big fan of Motorola, then this phone will be good for you for sure. This will be the best phone for you if you're looking to get rid of the old Moto E5 Play, which by now, that phone is already ceased to exist. And I don't even know if you will even find that Moto E5 Play still available at your Metro by T-Mobile stores but they are totally sold out and they are gone. Similar to the Moto E5 Plus where that phone is at commission as well. And right now the current phones that are available will be the G7 Play, the Moto G7 Power, and the Moto E6, which is coming on Monday, August the 26th. And I hope you do like this video and hopefully keep you informed on what phones that's to come. And I know that there are going to be more smartphones coming in in the future. And once I hear news about it, I'm definitely going to give you a follow-up. And also let you guys know in the next future video. And if you like and subscribe to the channel, I'll do more than just tech videos. But also give you more information regarding any devices. Whether if it's Androids or iPhones. I'll definitely give you guys the heads up and be the first to know. And also, if you want to follow my French channels, I'll also put the links in the video description down below as well. So you don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for the latest tech information and news. This has been CZRG from Caesar Goods Tech. Hopefully you have a very good weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody. And have a good weekend. Ciao, ciao.